everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by if you're new i would love if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell below and join my little youtube family so as you can tell by the title of today's video i'm going to be doing my personal top five things that every stay-at-home mom should have to make life just a little bit easier um, these are just things that i personally use on a day-to-day -day basis and that i feel I've gravitated to more um, in the last five years that I've been a stay-at-home mom. Okay, so these five things are not like traditional, conventional, like things that I would say are for your household. They are for you, the stay-at-home mom. Um, I could do a separate video on things that I think that you need for your actual household that you will use on a day-to-day -day basis, but I didn't want to do that one just because I feel like I wanted to focus on us moms. Um, there is one thing that is for your house that I would mention, but um, it definitely makes everything easier. So I'll start off with that one. Um, I have a uh, shark. I have a shark vacuum and it's an automated vacuum. I'll insert a picture right here because mine is downstairs. I didn't want to bring it upstairs because it was just running. Um, but anyway, I have one downstairs. I got mine for I got mine as a gift about a year and a half ago. And when I say I use it every day, I use it every single day. I love that little thing. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it is a automatic vacuum that vacuums hard surfaces. So wood, tile, um, granite, laminate, it will clean those surfaces. So I have mine set to come on every night after dinner and it does a phenomenal job. Like it is worth every single penny. Now, even though I didn't buy mine personally, I would buy it again. Like I would buy five of them if I had to because they are just that good. Like. You don't really know how much dirt is on your floors until you get a vacuum like that and we don't wear shoes in my house so even though we don't wear shoes downstairs like there's still a lot of dirt every single night and I, it just surprises me like how much dirt there really is even though the vacuum runs every night and we don't wear shoes throughout the house so I highly recommend one it doesn't matter if you have a one bedroom apartment or a mansion like those things work you need it you need it you need it and they are a little pricey I think mine was like maybe $300 they do have the um, original one that is by Roomba and that one is around five something you, you do see those on sale sometimes and they have like lesser like not lesser models but lower models that aren't um, as powerful that are a little bit cheaper but I know that Roomba makes one by iRobot or iRobot and it's called a Roomba one of those is the brand and then mine is called a shark by the brand um, shark the shark vacuum brand and I've seen another one recently I don't know what the brand is called but I saw it at Sam's and it's it's right in the section with all those and it seems to have good reviews as well but an automatic vacuum is a game changer especially if you have kids it's just one less thing you have to do okay so the second thing that I recommend for stay-at-home moms is airpods these are my little airpods I got mine last year um, as a gift for my husband and these these are another game changer uh, you don't realize like how annoying headphones are with cords until you get these like I was already annoyed with headphones but I mean that's all I had that's all that anybody had for years was those headphones that you plug you know you plug into your phone put them in your ear but when I upgraded my iPhone um, like two years ago to the newer iPhone you had to have the adapter for the headphones I got super annoyed because there were times that I needed my adapter to use my headphones and I didn't have the adapter so I could have put my headphones in and so I was like yep I'm getting airpods or wireless headphones in general because that got so annoying so quick and I mean I guess I guess it was a marketing strategy for Apple you know for you to either buy the adapter and use the adapter or to buy the airpods and you know see how much they, that they change the game and these are a little pricey to me considering they're just you know wireless headphones they do work well um, a lot of the reviews say they're not great for people who live or use public transportation because they're not really noise canceling. Um, but I don't take the bus or the train anywhere. I haven't been to New York in a while so I can't really say like if these work on a train. I mean I've seen people use them on the train um, that I know personally but I don't really know as far as like how the sound quality is. But for my everyday life the sound quality is perfect for me. Um, and they come in handy as a stay at home mom because I get a lot of phone calls in the middle of the day. Um, appointment reminders, appointment to set up appointments, just random things that I don't want to have my phone to my ear for or that I just want to be hands free so that I can do laundry and be on the phone. 
or you know whatever it is I'm doing I want to be able to still do it and do it hands free so these really really come in handy as a stay at home mom and even when I'm not um, at home I use them a lot I use them a lot when I'm out and about especially like if I'm going to get my hair done or something I just put my airpods in and they're not in the way of anything so yeah I definitely recommend these they are pricey but they are worth it at the same time okay the third thing that I recommend as a stay at home mom are leggings and this one is a little weird probably to some of you but a good pair of leggings really are game changing because I mean if you're like me I like to get dressed but I don't like to get dressed and I don't like to think about my outfit so most of the time I'm in leggings maybe three out of five days through the week and leggings to me like make the outfit I cannot stand when I'm out and about and I see a girl or a woman in cheap leggings. Like, girl, it's 2020. We can't be doing that no more. You cannot have on them little $5 leggings and your whole panties are showing and your cellulite and everything else that God gave you. Like, that shouldn't be showing in 2020. It just shouldn't. So, a good pair of leggings are a must. Um, they can pull together the simplest outfit. You don't have to be dressed up. You can just put on leggings and a t-shirt and good leggings make a difference. They really, really do. I promise you they do. So my favorite leggings um, are by the brand Zelle. Zella. Zella. I'm assuming that's Zella. Here's what they look like. They are true to size. Mine are, mine are size medium. I got mine from Nordstrom. I believe I paid $60 for these. I think they were $59.99 and I paid, yeah, I paid that price. There was no sale or discount at Nordstrom. But they are a little pricey. And I say a little because there are other brands of leggings that are great, but they're way more expensive, like Lululemon. And there's another brand that Nordstrom carries that's really, really nice. But they're about one, 110, 120-ish. Um, but these these are great and they are comfortable. They're lined. These are inside out <laughs> But they're lined and they're thick and and the thickness is what makes the difference to me in the leggings because You don't see my panty lines when I wear these you don't see any of my little cellulite that's trying to come You don't see any of that like they just they shape you they tuck you in they suck you in and they stay up And that is important to me is that my leggings stay up now. These also are High waist, they have like the little built-in tummy control. So if you're like me, you don't really care for that little bottom half of your stomach to show. These are really good. They, they keep you in place and they kind of smooth everything out for you without having to wear shapewear. So I love these. Um, I got these, I believe, last March or April. So almost a year. And I've only, I only had this one pair. I'm not going to flex like I got like five pair in my closet. I only have this one pair and this one pair is holding up perfectly. Um, I've washed them and I've loved on these quite a bit because I really do like them and they're pretty thick so you can wear them in the winter and not be cold well I'm in Georgia so in the south you can wear them and not be cold I don't really know how these would feel you know up north but they do make one that is fleece lined I have a pair that's fleece lined by Victoria's Secret that I like and those are also another good um, leggings if you're looking for leggings that um, are a little bit cheaper I think theirs are like $49 um, and theirs are pretty similar to these but they are to me they're a little bit thinner and they don't stay up as well but those are nice as well not the little ten dollar leggings at Victoria's Secret sales not those they have some that are I think in their athletic department or something like that or in the pink side um, and they are really really good leggings I have two pair of those um, so if you can't go to Nordstrom to get these definitely check out Victoria's Secret and get those uh, or just any pair of good leggings that are not see-through that do not have too much stretch. I feel like when they have too much stretch, they kind they tend to slide down a lot. Um, and then also some that are thick. Like the thickness makes a difference in making them look less like leggings and more just like thick. I guess thick tights. I don't know how to explain it, but like get you some leggings that don't look like cheap leggings. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so the fourth thing that I think every stay-at-home mom should have, especially if you live with your man. Um, are very nice pajamas and that may seem strange because I mean all you do is sleep in them but I feel like pajamas make a difference especially if you're like me and I'm not gonna front I tend to let myself chill in the house like sometimes I just have on an oversized shirt and like his basketball shorts or I have on um, oversized shorts and like my fleece pajama bottoms but 
I highly, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting you some nice, sexy pajamas that are nice for your man to look at. Because I know us as women, we tend to like comfort more than anything. And I don't personally like to come home and have anything tight or restricting on. I like to be comfortable at all times. But I also realized like my husband is here with me. He wants to look at me, you know. And I used to wear like other pajamas. Um, and when I say pajamas, I mean like legit pajamas, not lingerie. Like lingerie is a whole different category. And lingerie is something that I don't walk around my house in because I do have two small children. And they're at the age where I feel like it's inappropriate to show too much in front of them. Um, when Carmen was younger, I would walk around with like a t-shirt and my panties and I didn't care because you know she was little, she was crawling, she didn't know a chest from anything else. But now that they're older, I cover up a lot more because I feel like it's only, the, I feel like it's only right. Even though they're, they're both little girls, I don't like to walk around half naked in front of my kids. So I like to have nice pajamas and mine don't come from anywhere fancy um i have this set that i just recently got from walmart maybe like two or three weeks ago um and it's just a camisole set um it looks like this just a coral camisole that came with coral shorts and this was 10.87 now to me I, I have like maybe three of their sets from walmart in different colors um they're nice they're not they're not thick at all they're pretty this one is pretty see-through because it's like a um, chiffon type material almost almost set but not set my other two are cotton but i like them because they're inexpensive and they look nice they hold up nice in the wash they're probably not gonna last more than a year or two because my other pair i bought last summer and it's still holding up great but i don't foresee it you know lasting for years and years but they are nice pajama sets and then they very they are very very breathable which is what i like um and they are sexy the camisole is really cute it cuts pretty low but it still covers you and the shorts are cute you can tie them up um, and tie them on your waist so that you know a little bit of your butt shows if that's your style and i like those and then my other um nice pajamas these are it's like a jumper or what is this called a one piece yeah it's long so it's pants and my husband bought me this from fashion nova last valentine's day and it fits super super sexy um he said the model sold him on it so i was like oh okay but when i put it on i, I saw why he picked it because this lace cuts like right at the side of your chest and then the back is cut like that. Really, really, really nice pajamas. Um, they are a little hard to sleep in just because it is a one piece. But I mean, I look cute and they are a little hard to sleep in because it is a one piece, but they look cute. I look cute in them. I feel sexy in them and that's all that matters. Um, I have a few other pajamas that I like that, that I wear. Um, I have like two dresses, like the slip type dresses that I wear and that's about it i wear either the shorts and like the camisole in the shorts or a slip dress or this jumper style one and that's pretty much what i wear um as pajamas i mean i i do have other pajamas like the fleece ones and like the onesies and things but as far as like sexy pajamas those are what i have and i feel like they're important because even though you're wearing them to sleep it's still nice to look nice for your partner when you're going to sleep Okay, so the fifth and final thing that I think every stay-at-home mom should have is a cup. So, I have quite a few. Um, I actually make these cups myself. So, I have this one, this one, my favorite little baby, my Grinch one. Um, I have this one with my monogram. And this one, this cute little toasted marshmallow. But, I say that every mom needs a cup because I feel like it is so, so easy to get caught up with like taking care of the kids, making sure they're good, they're at school, on time, they're picked up on time, they go to practice, they eat dinner, they take a bath, they do homework, like every single thing is like go, 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 that sometimes I forget to drink my water and not like i don't drink it at all but like i don't drink what i should drink in a day because i'll just forget or you know it's not sitting next to me so um the good thing about these cups is that they stay either hot or cold and if you're like me i don't like anything 
like I, if a drink is meant to be cold I prefer it cold and if I'm drinking coffee or tea I prefer it hot like hot hot I don't like my tea lukewarm I don't like my coffee lukewarm I just I would just pour it out at that point um, so if you're somebody like me who tends to like make some tea and then you sit the cup down excuse me and you start doing laundry or anything like that and you come back and your tea is cold like I highly recommend investing in a nice tumbler because it will keep your drink hot or cold um, so that you can enjoy it the way it's meant to be enjoyed and I think it's important because like coffee just wakes you up in the morning or tea you know wakes you up or mellows you out or just relaxes you and then water hydrates you or whatever you choose to put in your cup you know whatever it is that you like to drink I think it's just nice to have the way that you like it so for me I like ice cold lemonade or ice cold orange juice so I'll put me a few ice cubes in my cup put my lemonade or my orange juice in my cup and I'll enjoy it while I'm doing laundry or cleaning up around the house and I don't have to keep worried about well, I let it sit too long and it's melted and another thing about these cups that is great is that they don't sweat so you can sit them anywhere in your house and they're not gonna you know leave that sweat ring on your table or your nightstand or wherever that wherever it is that you are with your cup but yes so I highly recommend that all moms get them I highly recommend all moms get them a nice tumbler or a coffee mug or whatever it is that you like that fits your style if you like the bigger ones or the smaller ones check one out I'll have my website links right here um, go to the website place an order for your custom one or if you just somebody that doesn't want anything customized they do have really nice ones at like Target Marshalls um, a few other places that I've seen but not every brand is the same I've had other brands before I started doing tumblers that you know that claim to keep your drink hot or cold and they really only stayed hot or cold for about an hour or two my tumblers personally do keep cold for about 16 hours and they do stay hot for 12 so that's why I highly recommend ordering one from me but all in all get you a tumbler that will keep your drink hot or cold so that way you can enjoy it and so those are the top five things I feel that every stay-at-home mom should have um, they tend to work they work really well for me like I said I use everything that I mentioned every single day I really do use my vacuum every day. I use my ear pods every day. I typically will wear my leggings every day or every other day. Pajamas, absolutely. And my tumbler, it literally goes everywhere with me. And I oftentimes find myself having to refill it because when you have something nice to drink out of, you don't even realize that you're drinking water or whatever it is that you're drinking. Hopefully it is water if you're drinking lots and lots of it. But yeah, I don't even realize I've drank, you know, three or four cups until I'm like, dang. I've had like this is my third or fourth refill I've hit my mark for how much water I should drink in a day but anyway I hope you all enjoyed today's video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys in my next video bye